The Committee for the Defense of Human Rights Lagos State Branch held its 16th annual memorial anniversary of Dr. Berko Ransom Cutie at Adeni Jones Ikeja, Lagos. Barrister Malaki Ugumado, however, spoke on the lifetime of late Berko Lolari Ransom Cutie as a disciplined, ideological, and principled medical practitioner and activist. Lone mass mobilizer. And what you do with that is not to wear your stethoscope and uh, your medical gown. It is to come down to the streets and be in touch with the people. And he wasn't doing that by proxy. He was interfacing. So today, there is a need to engage the military. And what I call engagement is to oppose them and their policies. He wouldn't stop at reducing his ideas in a written form. He moves with the team that visits the market women, and you will be shocked. In short, the market women, the students, the artisans, even professionals, fellow professionals, will be sufficiently mobilized, motivated, and inspired by the presence of somebody like Beko Ransomkuti to say, I have looked at this situation, and I have found that the only way by which we can make the change necessary is to be part of the struggle. Human rights activists encourages the masses to put in more action and zeal in mass orientation of the people, even to vote in whom they think will serve Nigeria better. Ways we have uh, made interventions, we have um, challenged the leadership of the country to, to recognize and know that it is their responsibility to protect the rights of the citizens. It is their constitutional responsibility to protect the rights of the citizens. And right to life is very, very germane to the survival of every individual, every citizen of this, of, of this nation. So as an organization, we have been engaging them. And uh, we, also, um, we also embark on uh, sensitization for the communities as well to let them know that we cannot leave it into the hands of the failures alone. They have failed us. The, the leadership of the country has failed us. Successive government has failed the, has failed the nation. Uh, they, have, uh, they have failed in, the, in, in, in our protection. And even economic-wise, they have failed to, to, to protect us in that, in that wise as well. So uh, it's for the masses now. We have to, we have to, uh, we have to help ourselves. The youth that has the capacity to change the change should get themselves together. All of us in Swaz, I think, should mobilize our members across the board to change the narrative. We can't continue to go on like this. 2023 is around the corner, you agree? We should go out there and look for an alternative to these politicians. Since insecurity has now been the order of the day in the country, the people then suggest the probable solution to insecurity in Nigeria. We should have a state police, and that is the first thing that should happen. From there, insecurity is our is because of no, no job. If a man is hungry, he will look for what to eat by all means. So the government should stop, should should make sure that the, the masses of this country are gainfully, gainfully employed. The people in charge of security themselves, unless they are ready to curb insecurity, they must come with sincerity of purpose. That's the only way. They must be sincere in the fight against this country. What we have been seeing so far, no sincerity. Prevail Kolade, Captain TV Lagos.